you want to set up your Mac computer to compile and run Java programs, um, I'll show you how to do it now. Uh, I'll show you right now that my computer, as it is right now, isn't set up to do that. I can't compile and run Java programs. Uh, if I open a terminal and uh, type Java space dash version, oops, you see there's no Java runtime present. And uh, Apple offers to help me install. What we need is a is a Java developer kit. Uh, we need something we could to, to help us run and compile Java. We need the tools. It says if we click more info, it'll let us uh, install it. It takes us to the Oracle website, and we could totally download the Oracle uh, Java SDK here. Uh, I'm just not going to recommend it now because I don't totally understand the license. It says something about review the terms of the license carefully before using the product. And it talks immediately after about something about a low cost commercial license. I don't know what that means for us. We're in we're in school. Um, you're you're taking my class. I don't know if that means that if we're in like a commercial setting or not. I don't I don't know what what that means. And I'm not a lawyer. I'm not going to spend time reading through the license. So instead, I'm going to recommend that you don't install that one. Although you totally could if you want. But I'm going to recommend a different one from a company that I trust, which is Amazon. They've provided uh, an alternative JDK, an open JDK. And you can look around the internet. You'll see that there are many JDKs out there you could choose from. Um, this is the one I looked around. This is the one I chose uh, to recommend. Uh, because it says that it's no cost, it's available to download and use it at no cost, and there's no additional paid features or restrictions. That sounds good to me. I just, I just, I just want to set up my computer to, to run some Java programs. I don't want to worry about legal stuff. So we're going to get the 11, version 11. I click here, and Mac OS, I'll right click that. I'll open the instructions over here. Let's see what it says here for Mac OS uh, 10, 13, or later. How to install. Download the Mac package file. Double click on it. Uh, do the stuff. And um, that's where it will install. And then run this. Okay. Great. So this command here on a Linux computer, this wouldn't make a permanent change. But um, we'll see. We'll see. I've not done this yet on this computer. Uh, so this is new for me as it is for you. So let's, let's do this together. First, it says download the package file from the downloads page. You know, open the downloads page. I got it here. Okay, not on Linux, not on Windows, but we're on Mac, and we want the PKG file, so I'll just download that. And then what am I supposed to do, save it or open it? I guess I could just open it. And I'm just going to open it. Let's see where to go. This one here. Okay, yeah, you know what, I'll just save it. I'll just save it. Okay, now this, I'll double click it. Just follow the instructions. That's usually a good idea when you do computer stuff. Don't go inventing things, just follow the instructions. Okay, continue. Um, now install it here, continue. It'll take up this much space. Okay, my password. successful okay close do you want to keep it uh, I think we just move it to the trash we don't need the installer anymore once the wizard completes it's installed to library Java Java virtual machines let's take a look there uh, Java Java virtual machines there it is there's my JDK installed right where they said it would be okay you can you can run you can run the following command to get the complete installation path. Okay, sure. Lava, uh, Java, library, Java, yeah, all right, good, good. Okay, so run the following command in the terminal to set the Java home variable. 
this was set it'll be overridden so usually when you're on Linux or something this command you'll need you'll need to put this in a configuration file I'm not sure if this is going to be permanent or not this installation uh, we can sort that out in a bit so I'll paste that okay what if I type Java now Java dash version okay so now it, it sees that this is installed but hmm I wonder though all I've said is I've set this variable here to point to the JDK we just installed but I don't know if this is gonna persist if I reboot the computer uh, if it doesn't persist I know where we can put this thing here to make it persist but uh, I'm I don't use Macs too often I don't know all the things about them uh, but we'll just assume that that's permanent right now uh, if you're taking my class you'll know that I usually teach a Linux class as well and this what we've done here is a bit different from what we would do in a Linux class it looks similar but it's it's pretty different what the effect it's had is quite different um, but Macs are different similar but different anyway I'm just gonna trust that that's good and let's move on now we've installed Java and we should also have like a Java compiler yeah we got a Java compiler we're all set. So now we need to install the Eclipse IDE. So I come here and uh, let me just Google for Eclipse instead of Eclipse IDE. You'll see. Eclipse is the uh, IDE that it seems to me that a lot of Java people like. Um, looking around the internet, it, it seems to me that people really like IntelliJ IDEA and people really like Eclipse. Um, so, whatever. Uh, I had to pick one for our class. I'm going to choose Eclipse because I've worked with it a little bit in, in preparing for this class and um, I've had a good time using it. It's a nice ID. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll click this thing here. Like that. Download it for Mac. Okay. Save it. I don't know how to use these DMG files. I think some, some of them you click on and some of them you need to like drag and drop in different places. Let me just click it. Let's see if that works. No, it's, it's working. Mm, probably I just clicked this, I guess. Yeah, I'll open it. Okay. Let that, that uh, finish. How long is this going to take? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so the Eclipse installer is going to give us a bunch of choices. You can use Eclipse to do a lot of different things, but, but we're after Java, so we're going to install for Java. And there it is. You see, so it automatically detects our, our, uh, our JVM, <clears throat> our Java virtual machine, the, uh, the JDK. That's good. Okay, so we'll install it, and we'll install it here great that's good that it, it, it detected our Java stuff so we don't need to worry about configurations and things can I shut this if you're in my class and you know about Max you could help me out with this stuff I don't know or I could just l read myself I've just been lazy I don't know. what am I supposed to do with this close this what is this thing can I close it delete it eject it what Okay, downloading very slowly. I've seen this before. That's fine. It, it may it may say something now about a package not being signed. If it says that, I'm I'm gonna accept the package because I trust Eclipse. I think a lot of people use it. I don't think it's a virus. There it is. Unsigned content. And accept it. Okay, and now we can launch it, and let's see if our computer's all set up right. Guess I can close this thing. We don't need this stuff anymore. I'll close all the tabs. We don't need this. We don't need this. We got to choose a workspace. The default is fine. Just launch there. What am I supposed to do with this? I think they'll uh, eject this, right? 
Okay, so now it's going to start, and now we'll just test and make sure we can we can write a little Java program. So this is pretty cool. It looks exactly like it does on Windows. Great. I shot that. On Windows, it asks me for a donation here, and there it comes up asking for a donation. This Mylan thing, I don't know what that is. Get rid of that. Shrink that back. We're going to create a Java project. You can click here to do that, or you can... Uh, Click here on File, New, Java Project. You take your pick. Project name, test, location. Um, you know, I'll put it on the desktop. I'll put it on my desktop. Sure. Click Next. We don't want this module info.java file. We don't want that. Just click finish. Expand this. Uh, source, right click that. New class. Ask for a name for the class. I'm going to call the class main. Sure, or I can call it my first class. That's fine. I'll make it public. Sure. I'll put a main method in it so I don't have to type all that. We don't need abstract methods. And I click finish. And then. Uh, now, let's just test everything out. System that out dot print line. Now let's go learn some Java. Semicolon there. Oh, oopsie. Here, I gotta put it. Let me just click the, the button here, the play button, the run button. Oh yeah, and save it. I didn't save it. Okay. And there we are. Now let's go learn some Java. So we're all set. So now my, my Mac is set up with Eclipse and the Amazon Coretto um, JDK. And uh, just, now I'm going to reboot the computer just to make sure that everything is per permanent. And I'll, I think I'll probably pin this here because we're going to be using this a lot this semester. So I'll keep that there in the dock so I don't have to hunt for it. Uh, all right. So I guess we're good to go. I'm going to re reboot the computer now and make sure that it's permanent and if it is permanent then I'm not going to tell you anything and uh, if it's not permanent I'll, I'll get back in touch with you to, to tell you what the workaround is.